this is a, like I say, PMX, a parachute Matamex. You can tie this all sorts of different colors and different ways. Um, for my body, I'm using some elk. This is yearling elk. I like it because it's a little thinner. Make sure you clean it really good. If nobody has elk and wants to use it, I've got some strips here you can use. I guess I should have put my thread on first. Okay, it's not a real long tail. I better stack that again. Probably about half to a third the length. And I do it the same way that we did that first flight. I like to control my flare. If I hold up on the hair as I wrap back, it keeps it on the top of the hook. Okay, once I get it back there, yeah, that flared pretty good. Didn't get everything out yet that I need. Okay, now on the body, you you can do this in peacock. You can do it. I'm gonna do a little floss body. Um, you can do it some ice dub. It's a good way to get rid of all your floss you've messed up on your spool. color, oranges, yellows, uh, red if you wanted, pink, pink for Gibby, it's tan. yeah it's tan, exactly. yeah, I got <laughs> did you bring the, I tied him up, a, I tied him up one time the Gibbonator, it oh. was about, what was it, a quadruple articulated fly, he could never figure out what fly to use, so I each hook I tied three flies on, so we had like 12 flies in one thing. It was Troll fly. Yeah. I was really bored that day at home. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now I'm put a little underwing on. You don't, don't need to, but uh, I, I like a little sparkle. And you just need to take a couple of these. This is uh, UV tan crystal flash. I like it better than the, uh, the the regular for some reason. I don't know if it catches any more fish with this fly because I don't really fish this fly. I'm not like I say I'm really a still water guy, but all you need is about six or eight strands. Tie that back and I'm going to trim it off just past where the tail started. Now we're going to do a wing. One of the biggest problems I've had with these is I tie, I use too much material and you don't, don't need a lot, it just gets you in your way. And Somebody's got a good broom afterwards. Usually that's what we have Gibby for. Excuse me. I 
don't think I've ever heard that one before. This is crazy. Wow. That'll wake you up. Okay. I want to go back a little past the end. Hold on to your fibers when you put this down. If you don't, they're going to go all over the place. Okay. Now a little trick. Hope you brought some lead wire. This makes it a lot easier. Just hold that down and we're going to wire it down. You can use those hair clips, but they just get big and in the way. And you've got enough stuff going on. If you need some, Gibby's got some here. Oh, are you one oh one five? I just I use O2 all the most, but actually I don't even know what this is. I you thought you were gonna put it on the fly. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's really buoyant. You gotta use a lot of lot of floating for that. <laughs> or put little pontoons on it or something. Okay. Now we're gonna Hey, you learn something new every week. Okay, I'm using some new kind of humix. This is a parapost wing. You can use this. There's uh, actually the stuff I like better. I don't even want to use that. Um, let's see if I got that. You can no, no, I don't. You you, you can use Antron for it. Uh, there's Widow's Web. Oh, this is the stuff I like. I, I, this it's fly on, and uh, it's got little. You know, when I first got it. I thought, oh, you know, it's got these little kinks in it. Uh -huh. What in the world is that there for? And actually, it helps hold the material together when you're doing your post. So I'm going to tie this up. I'm going to fly on. Yeah, it's good stuff. And I'm going to tie this up probably about two eyewits back. I used to comb that all out and everything, and then it's like stupid. That's there for a reason. I've tried putting this around the thread, everything else. Sometimes you can start over again. There we go. Okay, now, there actually is a little tool you can get, a gallows that will hold this up, but I just find if I hold it up, take it around like this. Now, I get four or five wraps, and then I'm going to take it around the hook, because if you ever let go of this stuff, it's going to all come undone. And drive yourself nuts. But you want to go up the post, probably about two eye widths. If you get a good post, it's going to make this fly a lot easier. Now some guys will let go on the, at the top and start wrapping it down. I, for me, I just like to hold on to it. But it's whatever, whatever works good for you. You just you put your finger out and hold it and come around. That should be, yeah, that should work. Okay. For feather, whatever, you can use brown, you can use grizzly, uh, a tan. Okay, I'm going to tie this down at the base. I want the shiny side towards the post. And then I'm going to pull just a few fibers off the side away from me so when I first wrapping it, I'm not going to have fibers trapped in there. You get a few wraps up there and you can see. Okay, good. And you don't want to have a long hackle there, it just gets in the way. Let's get rid of this here while I'm thinking of it. Just the same way you did the post before, wrap it up there.
Okay. Now I'm going to do a peacock body for the other part. I found it's easier just to tie my peacock in first. It doesn't really get in the way. I'll use three strands or four, whatever comes out. Okay, legs, whatever you want. I, these are uh, tan and black barred. I found for this fly, you know, when it comes like that, if I just take one of these and half it, it's almost perfect length. You don't want to have big long legs. You got enough stuff going on here. And however, everybody has a way of putting their own legs on. This this is what works for me. I think fly tires we get kind of weird sometimes like this is the way I do it it's the only right way to do it it doesn't matter it's whatever works for you in your hands it's the finished product and the finished product the fish will tell you whether it's right or not on that just got to find out which is which side Going to make sure you get it on the right foot. <laughs> it's like when I go float tubing with a guy the first time, they'll get all red and get their fins on. I'll start laughing at them, tell them they put their fins on the wrong foot. <laughs> it's kind of mean, but. Uh, I still do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they take the time to do that. It's like, uh, okay, now I'm taking my peacock. This will help separate the, the legs too. I'll do a couple wraps behind, a couple in between. That was you, wasn't it? That was Ben. Old Ben. We were fishing up in Canada, bottom of Takarik Lake, place they call Utah Beach. And uh, we were there and a storm was coming in and Ben was fishing with us and he had his raincoat on inside his waders. We didn't tell him. <laughs> we're kind of mean to go with sometimes and all of a sudden he started. Great <laughs> friend. Oh, isn't it good? They're so nice. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what? I don't think you'll ever do that again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, um, there we go. This is bad as at home. I've got crap all over the place. I'm going to tie the peacock off here. Do not cut your thread. I do that all the time, and it's, it's like, geez. Usually you can just pop these off. Okay, now what you want to do on this is get your thread back up. However you do it. I want to get it to lie in that notch between the two legs, like that. And that leg just does not want to go there. We go. It's better. Okay, now just hold that out and hold this up. And I want to get about six or seven wraps. down my post. Okay, now I have my thread, and what I'm going to do is I wiggle it so I don't trap any fibers, do two wraps 
on top, and then I'm going to go two wraps underneath. Okay, now the problem with parachutes is the whip finish. So you can take your thread and take it around here, whip finish on the front of it. The problem when I have when I do that, everything comes undone. You can take it, turn it sideways, and whip finish, and I just screw that up every time. So I saw a guy that did this, said he's never had it ever come undone, and I've tied a bunch for some friends, and they've never had any problems. Good old super glue. Now, this stuff, I get this at Hobby Lobby. It comes in a medium, a, a light, and a, uh, a heavy. It's three bucks for a bottle, lasts you forever. But it's not in the regular glue section, it's over where they have all the models on that one. So you can use your bodkin, but I just get the straight pin, and I take it and put it right there where I finished. And I don't trust everything, so I'll do one over on the other side. Let that sit for a minute. Do your post whatever length you want. Bring those together. Front. I take this to about the back of the tail. Okay. Now I'll see if this. Use my finer point scissors. Now here's the part. Cut this red and see if it all comes apart. There you go, PMX. Actually, tie a couple of them once you get the steps down, not too bad.